hi guys it's Christina thank you so much for watching today I have another empty video for you guys and I'm gonna show you all the products that I've run out of within the last month because I used to do them like for two months you know I did like one for March slash April and then I did one for May and June but then I started to kind of use up the products I got into like the habit of using everything that I have because I have like this weird habit where I just shop so much and I buy stuff where I buy like one face mask and I use like half of it or maybe like a third and then I just kind of put it away and then I buy more and I just have like shelves of stuff like if you've ever seen my like um, room tour or whatever you'll know that I like I have so many hair products and face products and everything like that so I just sort of got into the habit of like using up the stuff if I only have a little bit at the bottom of like you know a heat protectant or something for my hair I just would use it up and by the way no I'm not naked I have a dress on it's just strapless um, but yeah, so I got into that habit and I actually really like it. I'm like addicted to it now. So now I have a lot of products and um, this video, it would already be kind of long for one month. So I figured, you know, I might as well go ahead and film it and start doing it every month because if I wait for two months, that video is just going to be so long because I'm going to have so many products. So um, I split them up into three categories like last time. So I have hair, I have face, which is like um, face products and makeup, and then I have some... Um, like shower and bath products. So starting with the makeup, um, I have my Lorac Front of the Line Pro Liquid Liner, which you guys know I love this stuff. I've used it in so many different tutorials before, and I just ran out of my, this is I think my second or third one, and I don't know what I'm going to do because I have so many liquid liners, but I hate them. Like, I try to use this other one today, and I don't know, like, um, it's just a bit pricey. It's like $22, and I have like a billion other liners, at least like 10 and I'm just like, okay, logically thinking, Christina, you should probably use those up first, you know, before you go out and spend your money. But then I just hate them, and it's just like, I don't know what to do. Um, comment below if you guys have, like, some real dilemmas where you just kind of like, you know, like, you know, you shouldn't buy this, but it's like you really want it, you know? Like, I don't know. Um, then I have this powder from Maybelline. It's the Fit Me and in color 325. You guys know I like this powder. I've been using it for, like, years and lately I've been using my MAC MSF so um, I don't use this as much but I've literally went through so many of these because I first found this out in like 2011 and since then I probably went through like at least 10. The next thing I have is this little bronzer from Lancome and this came in like a set or something I got like I did not buy this it either came in a set that I bought or it came as like a freebie from something else like, I don't remember, I think I actually did a, I think one of my very first videos actually on YouTube was when I bought um, this Lancome eye cream, and they gave me like five freebies, I think this was like the Michelle Phan, like, um, coupon code that she had, and she got, and you get like the five freebies, I think that's what it was, this was like probably my very first YouTube video, I believe, um, if you don't count like little slideshows and stuff that I did before that. So, yeah, it's weird. It's still public if you guys want to go find it. Um, but, yeah, it's called the Star Bronzer. And it actually broke, but then I end up using the rest of this, not on my face, but on my body, because I was like, yeah, you know, I might as well just use it up. And then I have my Barrett Minerals Mineral Veil, which is just kind of like a clear powder, and you just use it to set your makeup, because sometimes I would, like, use a regular powder, you know, like my MAC MSF or this, to set my foundation, and then... Um, if my skin gets a little bit oily throughout the day, you know, you want to put more powder on, but if you just keep putting the regular colored powder on, you're just going to look super dark and it's just going to look really cakey. So I would use this um, translucent one. And when it was running low, actually to open it up, you open up the back. You don't open through here. So um, that's how you get it out. I actually have a whole video showing how to get like extra products out of those bare minerals, um, foundations and stuff because it's kind of tricky if you don't know how to do it. Then continuing with the face products, I have two like um, kind of beauty products for the face. So one is my Proactive Renewing Cleanser and if you've seen my skincare routine video, you know I love Proactive but I only use their cleanser now and their night treatments. Um, for my toner and my moisturizer, I use my Clinique um, like toner, the pink one, and then I use my Clinique sound for the dark spot corrector or whatever and I showed all of that in my skincare routine so if you're interested to know I will link it down below in the info box. Look it totally look naked. So weird. Um but yeah and I actually I'm about to try a whole bunch of new proactive products so I will be doing a video on those. 
And then I also have this um, eye cream. This is the Lancome High Resolution Eye Refill 3X. And I got this as a freebie. And it's one of those little squeeze tubes. So when there was like nothing coming out, I just cut it. And got the rest of the product out. And there was quite a lot left. It just wasn't coming out. So, yeah. It's kind of like toothpaste or, you know, one of those... Um, Rinse Decay Primer Potions that just don't come out, but then you cut them and there's so much more product. Moving on to hair products. I have four right here. So two of them are from my favorite organic salon. These are for the keratin treatment therapy because I do get keratin treatments on my hair um, to straighten it out because I do have curly hair. So these are very affordable and they smell delicious like coconuts and I've been using these for like forever since like... I think the fall of 2011, yeah, so like almost two years, so I've been in love with these, and before that I used to use Paul Mitchell, but um, I don't use that anymore because since I started getting keratin treatments, these are better for it, they're sulfate free, they're sodium free, and they smell delicious, and they're so much cheaper, so I got the flat iron spray, which is the heat protectant, I don't have any more of that, and then I ran out of shampoo, um, and I bought a whole bunch of these when they had a sale of Walgreens, like, I believe in April or May and it was like buy one get one free so I bought like three shampoos, three conditioners, like heat protectant, mask, everything like that. So I just kind of like um, switch them up and use some because I took some take with me and came back so that's why I ran out of shampoo and not the conditioner at the same time. And then the other two hair products, one of them is the Chi Nourish Intense Hydrating Silk Bath which again I mentioned in my um, hair care routine video which I will also link down below if you haven't seen it. This stuff is so good and I get it at TG Maxx. Normally it's like $16 for this bottle which lasts me like, I don't know, at least like 5 months or 4 months or something like that. So it's worth it but I get them at TG Maxx for like 6 or 7 bucks, like $6.99 I believe or $7.99 and what it does is make your hair so soft like I just shampoo my hair first with, you know, this line, and then before doing the conditioner, I shampoo my hair with this, and it's just kind of like a lather, so it's not like a conditioner, but it makes your hair so soft, and I'm actually on the second bottle of this now, which, well, I had second, two bottles sitting around, but it's not my second bottle, it's like probably like my fourth or fifth bottle now, because I love this stuff. It's just like whenever I run out of it, um, I didn't realize that I had another one sitting on my shelf, so I ran out of this. And I didn't have any for like a week or two and my hair I started noticing the difference. It started to become like drier and drier and kind of brittle and I was like, oh my god, I need to go buy some of this stuff. Then I went through my hair products that I have on my shelf, which like I said, I have like a problem where I just have so many sitting there that because I just keep buying them constantly that I didn't even realize I had another one. So now I have another one of these in my shower. Which I also did a what's in my shower video like a while back if you guys want to see that. I can also link that down below. Then the last hair product is this Julep Invisible Dry Shampoo which I did show in one of my Julep unboxing videos that I do every month. This was really, really good. I liked it a lot. The fact that I like the most about it is that it, it was invisible like the name suggests because I am a brunette and um, for blondes you might get away with like the white dry shampoo but for brunettes it's just kind of like... Um, even if you massage it in, it still has that weird great tint to it, to your hair, and it just does not look good. Um, but this stuff, it's invisible, so I really liked it. And I will link their website down below in the box if you want to check it out. But what I did not like about it is that it ran out really fast, which is, you know, normal for, like, um, cans like this. I still feel like there's product in there, because you can hear the ball, but it also it's like a little bit heavy. But nothing comes out. Like, you see that? That's weird. I don't know, but that usually happens with like cans, um, like the spray dry shampoos versus like the powder that you just sprinkle on your hair. And then lastly, I have some bath products slash, you know, just body products. So the ones that I used in the shower, um, I have three here. So I have two um, body washes, and no, I didn't go through these whole two um, bottles within a month. I just sort of, like I said before, I would use some products, I would go through like maybe this much of it or like a half, and then I would go to the next one and then to the next one and to the next one, and then I just have a whole shelf of them sitting in my room. Um, so I probably had like this much of it left, and this is the um, Johnson's Self Wash Calming Body Wash, which is a third baby lotion for baby soft skin. So this is really nice, I liked it a lot, and I like the smell too. And then I also had about like a third left in this bottle and this is the Dove Beauty Care Body Wash Go Fresh. And this I actually got in Ukraine. So the scent is called Frutovy Splesk Aromat Nectarina i Bielova Empiria. So the scent is like Nectarine and White Ember 
which I don't know what that is, but that's the picture. Um, I guess it's like a flower and some fruit. I don't know. It smelled really good though. Oh, actually, I, I said I had three, but I have uh, four. I have two more for the shower. So I have another body wash. This is the Apple Fantasy, which I don't know what this is from. I think this is one of those cheap ones that I just picked up at like Kmart or Walmart or something like that um, when I was traveling because these are really little. And I only have like maybe a third left in here and it smelled like apples. So it was alright. And then I have this, which is the Gillette Comfort and Vantage Sensitive Skin Shave Gel. And yes, this is a men's um, shaving gel, which if you've watched my other empties video before, you know that I like to use the men's ones because they make your skin so much softer than using the girls' shaving creams and also the razors. The guys' razors and the guys' shaving cream, you know, you use it on your legs and they're going to be so much softer than if you use the girls, like I promise. Then lastly, I also have three lotions here, and no, I didn't go through the whole bottles of these. Like I said, I only had maybe like this much left in this one. And this is the Avon Naturals Nourishing Indulgence Apricot and Shea Hand and Body Lotion. And this, I believe, I got in Ukraine, yeah, because there's Russian on the back of it. So, yeah, it just looks like this, and it smells really good, but it's kind of runny, um, so it's more like a lotion than a cream, I believe. Um, and for my body, like for my legs, I prefer to use something thicker. So it wasn't like that great, but I just finished it up. And then the next one is the Sun Labs Tan Moisturizer Maintainer. So I went over this in many reviews before that I've done for Sun Labs, and you guys know that this is like a lotion that you use to sort of like maintain your tan, because if you go spray tanner, if you use self tanners, hence the Sun Labs tan, self tanner. Um, then you would want to maintain it with like moisturizing because if your skin gets dry, it's going to start coming off. And, you know, so it's basically like a regular body lotion, but it has a little bit of stuff in it that makes your tan last longer. So I would just use this as a regular body lotion all over my skin. Um, it's just clear. It's not like tinted or anything like that. But the smell of it is like not, you know, fruity or anything like that. It just smells like a, one of those tanning products. And then the last thing I have is the Dove Beauty Body Lotion Go Fresh and Fresh Touch Cucumber and Green Tea Fragrance. And I also had only like maybe this much of this left in here. Um, and this I got in Ukraine as well. Um, and it smells really good. I really liked this. Like, like I said, it's cucumber and green tea. I like the smell so much, but this was really runny like this Avon one. It was just like not very moisturizing. Like if you have oily skin all over your body, you don't need that much moisture, you might like this, but if you have dry skin or if you tan like me, you probably need more moisture than this. I didn't really think like it moisturized anything, like it's better than nothing. Like if I have no lotion at all, I would use that, but other than that, I would prefer like an actual thicker body cream versus that because it just didn't do anything. What is my cat doing? Like she's always, she can just sit there and be cute for the video, she's always like has to clean herself and lick her stuff and... Ava! What are you doing? What are you doing? Ew, you're wet. Ew. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And check out my Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. I will put all of those links down below in the info box. And also, please thumbs up this video if you like my empties. So, if you want to see more, that way I will know. And leave me a comment down below with some empties that you've run out of this past month. So, maybe I can check them out. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.